Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fun YouTube channel. Guys, I uh, have a really interesting video for you guys today. And the reason it actually took this long to get it out is because I plan on doing a more in-depth version of this video where I really laid out the whole story behind Cletus McFarland. And I'm gonna give you the quick version of it just because I wanna get some content out for you guys today. We did finish our Ruby video that's coming tomorrow, but I wanted to get this out on Sunday. In today's video, you're gonna see a guy named Tom Bailey. And Tom Bailey plays more of a role in the Cleaves McFarland legacy than uh, you probably think or know. In the very first ever Cletus McFarland video, Tom Bailey's car was the centerpiece of the, the video. And it was completely by random. We parked in a parking lot when I worked for 1320 video and I made the video in front of it and it just so happened to be his car. And from day one, he thought it was awesome. And uh, it's been four or five years now and this is a video of me meeting back up with Tom. I think for maybe the second time since the first video, and uh, he took me for a ride in his race week car, or drag week car that he drives thousands of miles in that can run a five second quarter mile pass. <laughs> So check out this video. The intro was super windy, but check it out. I think you'll like it. All right, guys, going for a ride in Tom Bailey's five-second streetcar. Woo! Man, that's so much carbon fiber. Pretty nice big bucket seat right here. Well, good thing we got cup holders. Alright guys, so I'm standing here next to a really nasty Camaro as you can see. This is actually 6 Seconds 2.0 is the name of it and it's owned by a guy named Tom Bailey. If you don't know who that guy is, he plays a uh, lot more important role in the whole Cleese McFarland name than you could probably ever imagine. So Tom here was at the second ever Rocky Mountain Race Week that I went to and the first ever Cletus McFarland video was filmed in front of his car. So I'm here with Tom today. He's actually taking me for a ride because he is in a streetcar class and we got to go on a little cruise. So ready to rip this thing? Oh yeah, take it for a little cruise. So just to be clear guys, it's a completely street legal car and it has been 577 at 260. Is that what it is? Yep. Yeah, 259 miles an hour, so 5.77 seconds at 259 miles per hour in the quarter mile. And we're about to go drive it for 30 minutes <laughs> down the road, so sweet. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. But yeah, Tom's car was kind of an innocent bystander in uh, the first ever Cletus video. But I mean, had it not been your car, it probably would have never took off like it did. Exactly. That's why I'm waiting for those royalty checks. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going now? Are we waiting for the truck? Yes. And then we'll yeah, go behind the truck. Front of you, I think. Okay. So what do we got for an engine setup? Just give them a quick breakdown. Uh, SMX 526. So that's twin 88 millimeter turbos on it right now. Drag week we did with 98s. <laughs> um, we got we got some 102s we want to try on it too, see so if we can get a little faster. But. Yeah, I think you should try that for sure. We got, the, <laughs> we got the Freedom Factory in the background. You might have to come over and take a lap in this thing. That's what we'll do. I mean, once we put it back on alcohol, go over there and have some fun. You can set the Pro Mod track record because I think you'll probably be <laughs> the only Pro Mod to make a lap. Well, are those banks high enough that it's almost like I'm going straight still? Pretty much, yeah. You just floor it and hold on. Yep. 12 degree banks. Man, this thing is so cool. So. We got cup holders and then it has electric windows, right? Yep, power windows. <laughs> Damn. Who else has a five second street car that has power windows? I don't know if anybody's got one. There's only a few five second street cars out there. So. Yeah, man, this thing's so cool. So uh, big shout out to Tom for taking me for a ride today. This is exciting because, you know, we haven't really talked in a couple years since probably the first race week when the video went viral and then 
you know, I've definitely seen a lot of his stuff, and I know he saw a couple videos, but cool to finally meet back up. He's in our hometown at Brandon Motorsports Park, so going for a cruise. And Let's see what it's all about, riding in a five-second car. Oh, we got the gear vendor right there. Yep. Hell yeah, we just got one of those Three for our El Camino. Three-speed Rousler. Yeah, damn. That's a machine, brother. It's so cool how the whole transmission is sealed in the car. I mean, it's like, <laughs> you're looking at it. <laughs> it's right there. How many miles was this year's drag week? Uh, like 800. That's not bad. sharp it turns too. It turns sharper than my Corvette. I don't know. It's pretty tough sometimes on some corners but. I wanted to feel that power steering too. Is, is it pretty good? I mean does it help a lot? Yeah it's good and uh, um, the only thing is I have it turned off right now because it can't handle 16 and a half volts. Oh. It tops out at 14 and a half. Okay. Interesting. Up, Interesting. So. All right hell yeah. Dude it, it's kind of embarrassing. It's probably more streetable than Ruby. Oh, the car you drove here in? Yeah, it's, dude, it's really, really streetable. You know he's got power steering in there? Dang. Dude, he's got power windows. We don't even have that. Power windows, that's pretty badass. Oh, man, it is so cool. It's got more cup holders than us. It's got about four times the horsepower. Well, let's compare it to Leroy. It has power steering, has roll down windows. It actually has windows. It's got mirrors. It has a hood. It has a hood. Oh, golly, so. Gas tank in the back, that's where the pump gas goes. Yep. Up here we got twin turbskis, and then you got your methanol up here. Yep. Wow, man. Three injectors per port. Look at the port size. Steve Morris engines. That's a unit right there, brother. Yep, that's pretty nice. That's a nice <laughs> machine. He said he might bring it over to the Freedom Factory. He might set the Pro Mod lap record. That's what we're thinking. So, <laughs> what do you think about <laughs> that? That's some pretty good fabrication, right? I mean. So, I don't know if it's five second territory so just should, yet. Uh, Someone should start building race cars for a living. That's yeah. I was thinking about dropping the whole YouTube thing just, just do fabricate. Cars. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> What's up? I heard you're going for the Pro Mod lap record. Show me lap we get on a couple gallons. How much fuel do you have? Probably four gallons in there. Four gallons? Whew. Take her for a lap. Let's see what it'll do. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it's Kurt. <laughs> I better open up the burnout pad. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Dude that thing's so cool. <laughs> Tom Bailey folks, what a legend. I don't know if you could pay someone to bring their methanol breathing pro mod into the track, but he'll do it. <laughs> Congrats, you have the uh the race car record <laughs> in the track. <laughs> Man, this thing is so cool. Thanks for taking us for the ride too. Oh, yeah, it was great. Had a blast, man. So Tom Bailey, guys, six seconds, 2.0. Can see this thing online, look up some videos. You can see it run uh, some five second passes. Insane car, and it even got to visit the Freedom Factory. But that's gonna do it for now. So shout out to Tom Bailey, taking us for a cruise, but thanks for watching, do it for the old freaking see you later.